So the first step that we want to uh, do to be able to take pictures or to uh, print pictures after a case, we want to make sure that we come to our, our uh, we want to unlock the printer. Um, so we'll press our shift and F4 and notice we have printer lock right here. So that's where we're going to press F4, shift F4 and you'll notice the screen whenever we do that it says printer unlocked just now. That means the printer is actually locked so I'll press it again. It'll be like that already. So I'll press shift F4 again. This is what you'll see. It says printer locked. That actually means that the printer is unlocked. Okay. So at that point we can go into our menu. We'll click menu. Then we want to scroll down to view saved images. I'm clicking enter on the keyboard. Then we'll go to, we have our review images here. I'm just going to go to today's date, so I'm clicking enter. Or this is yesterday, actually. And enter again, that'll pull us to the case, the last case that was taken. Enter. We'll have our images that populate there. And so right now you see we have it set to view. We just want to go in at this point, click enter again, so that we can view these images. So if he wants to select all the images and print all of them, we'll either click all up here at the top. I just scrolled over to the top here, and we'll click enter. And you'll see all the purple boxes that just lets us know that all of those are selected. I'm going to deselect now. And if he just wants to click uh, print certain ones, then we'll just come to each one. One, two, three, four. So I'm clicking enter and shifting over. I'm press, pressing the right arrow button to shift over. And then I'm going to click enter again, and we'll basically just, we're selecting each individual one. So that's just how you'll select each one. In this case, I'm just going to go in and select all. And at that point, we want to see, notice the enter R button here. That's what will, will allow us to be able to view each image one by one um, on the page. So I'm going to click R on the keyboard, not enter R, just R. And then we'll get basically a full screen of the first image. At that point, now that the printer is unlocked, to be able to print the images, we want to go down to our printer. Um, notice we have here F4, F colon 1. That just means that we're on our first picture. It doesn't mean that we already have one picture that's been taken. It means that we're getting ready to take the first picture. So since the printer is unlocked, I'm going to go ahead and press Capture to capture the image that's on the screen. So Capture. You'll notice that now turned to 4, uh, F colon 2. We're getting ready to take the second image. And so then we want to come to this keyboard again and scroll over to the next one. And then we'll just repeat the process until we get to our fourth image. So capture. We just took our second image. Now we're getting ready to take our third. I'm going to scroll over again. So this will be the third image. I'm going to come down to my uh, printer again and press capture. So we have one more to take to get to our fourth image. I'm going to scroll over again. So this is our fourth and last image that we can take at a time. So capture, and then you'll see this goes back to 4F colon 1. That means now that we're getting ready to take the first image again. So it's important to remember that after we've taken four pictures, you have to press print. So I'm going to press print, and then it'll start printing that page. If we don't press print after four, it'll revert back to the first one, and so it won't, take, it won't print the first set, if that makes sense. So then it'll print our first set of images. And if we want to go back and print the rest of those images that were taken that day, we just have to simply scroll over and do the same process. So we'll capture the next four images and then print, capture the next four images and then print, and that's what we'll get.